our opponent just missed lethal and we are hanging by the skin of our teeth ladies and gentle mages civilians across the multiverse welcome back to another episode with man of man and today we've got a juicer for you we are turning tides with Tishana's Tide Binder. Now, when I first saw this card, I thought it was like pretty good, but I didn't think a whole lot of it. I just thought it was pretty good. This card is actually pretty wild. Like, obviously, having Flash is wonderful, countering up to a target activated or triggered ability. But as long as you own the Tide Binder, it pretty much just loses it. It just becomes a vanilla. So if it's like an artifact, it literally just sits there and you can't really do anything with it. It's just freaking wonderful. It pretty much hits every single deck in one way or another and i'm telling you I, I really really like this card a lot the only problem is it doesn't hit enchantments it's only artifacts creatures and planeswalkers you can still counter like a beanstalk or something like that or a leyland binding or something like that but you don't get to like put it under wraps completely that's only for the artifacts creatures or planeswalkers but as you can see we pretty much have like flash and like flying we it's not technically flash tribal because of the spyglass siren no flash there but it is flying flat or flash tribal i guess so that just brings us to Aaron and giada flash flying look at this cop card of your library anytime and you can cast spells with flash or flying from the top of your library like this in the really grindy matchups the extra value that you can accrue from Aaron and giada is really really nice but other than that i mean we do have the twining twins and a wandering emperor i only have three of each just because i mean we do it this is like a fairly tight deck especially with the spyglass siren i i know this one's a little bit more awkward because we don't really make use of it but the spyglass siren has just proven that you don't need to run it in just like pirates or just flying or whatever like and this is just a great card i mean it's just creating a map token for one on a one one flyer it just helps out the deck so much you can you like kind of use it um you can use it for like explore to kind of help with air and giada as well from the top of your library so just a really all-around great card fading hope is actually really really wonderful now where fox bodyguard is a little bit awkward just because it does have the two white which is a little bit more awkward than the emperor on turn four then on turn two but the weird fox bodyguard allows for a lot of different things and of course it's flash so it just fits the bill i got the kite sail Larsis, which again is not flash but it is flying and then you know just for some kind of like de facto removal i guess it's not removal but de facto e foe removal or something like that Silver Ring Make Disappear, if you've listened to the channel, if you listen to me on Twitter or anything like that, you know that I was kind of like pessimistic on Make Disappear, but Cavern of Souls has not been as impactful as I thought, so we're still running counter spells pretty decisively. Got the Fairy Mastermind and the Malcolm, just so for some two drop flash flyers, because flash flying, two droppers, Fairy Mastermind and Malcolm, I mean, pretty gosh darn good. I don't even care what you do. A flash flyer for two is wonderful, but this is the deck here pretty much. We're just using Tidebinder to kind of like mid rangey temp kind of tempo-y just kind of like you know turn the tides on our opponents so that's pretty much what we're doing here shout out to the restless anchorage excited hopefully we can make this use of this got a pretty art and everything but that's the deck going leave me like the button looks just like this it helps out the channel more than you know i would really appreciate that consider joining the channel i would really appreciate that as well go ahead and subscribe if you have not already and without further ado let's get ready to vanquish some enemies Witch Queen! How are we doing here, Witch Queen? Okay, so we've got the Restless Anchorage and two Deserted Beaches. So this is going to be a really, really awkward start here because I mean, we're not going to be able to play anything until turn three, which is kind of sucky, but I still want to keep it. I, I'm just not a big fan of mulliganing lands, especially when we've got a Tidebinder, a Twins, a Mastermind, and Emperor. I don't know. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Plus, if we draw a Plains or something like that, I mean, this is like a dream hand, honestly. All right, Witch Queen, they do have Tasha as the Avatar, so let's go ahead and do this. Yep, get the Anchorage down. Anchorage is pretty good. Stalker. Okay, I do like the flying on it. So we get another Tide Binder. Again, can't really play anything until turn three, but it's okay. So let's see. Yeah, let's get a little bit of a sleeve check here. Those are some nice sleeves. I don't think I have those. All right, so Deep Cavern Bat. Unfortunately, they're going to take something. Let's see what they take. I would assume they take the Emperor, honestly. But we'll see. I guess we're playing Demir, which makes sense considering you are the Witch Queen. We're Azorius. Nice to meet you, Witch Queen. Um, oh, yeah. So they're going to take the Emperor. No surprises there. And they're going to probably swing with the Stalker. I so far have found the Stalker to be a little underwhelming. Just, just because, I mean, it's not really that easy to descend. But I guess we'll go ahead and keep up our Fading Hope. That is the nice thing about playing with Flash stuff is we can just kind of sit back and we can just wait for stuff. So the Deep Cavern Bat and the Stalker. We have a Fairy Mastermind. Um, I don't know where we sit here. Let's see what the, let's see what they do here. I think I just might take two. Not the, I'm not really, you know, that's fine. 
I think we can just take two. Let's go down to 17. This isn't mono red. We could flash in the mastermind, but I don't think I'm going to. This isn't mono red. You're not threatening me with that much life. Yeah, yeah. 17, big wolf. All right. Oh, mind link mech. Okay, I really wish I had... Okay, I really wish I had, like, a counter. But, yeah, we're going to have to let that resolve. We can't really tide binder it effectively, so... Okay. Let's go for mastermind. I guess I am going to fading hope this, the cavern bat. Because not only do we do get an opportunity to, to get back our Wandering Emperor, we do get the Scry. Oh, come on, land, land. We need a land. I did this for the land, and we do get the land, thankfully. Oof, okay, that was cool. But this Mind Link mech is kind of scaring me. I'm going to swing in. No way I'm blocking. Well, I can't block even if I wanted to with the Menace. But yeah, this is kind of... the mind I have not seen the Mind Link mech in a long time, so we'll see what they're doing with this. What's, what's, up, what's up your slave here, Witch Queen? I know that you're a witch queen, so it can't be anything, you know, good. It's got to be pretty devious. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Swing in. I think, I mean, do I want to go for Emperor here? I think I'll just take this for now. And then I'll use Emperor to start churning out two twos if they don't do anything else. So, Gix. Okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, we might as well go for Emperor. There's really no reason not to. Start putting out two twos. I mean, it kind of plays really, really awkwardly, though. Just trying to think, should I make a two two? Should I just kind of get rid of the, the Stalker? I think I've I should probably just make two two. Yeah, let's do this. Let me show you. Of course, we always have the Twining Twins in case things get bad. So, Sea Chrome Coast is actually not very good right now. Just because it has to come in untapped, that's okay. I think we're going to put this on you just so that we can swing in. Can't go for Mind Link Mech or anything Remember else. Here's what's kind of weird. Alright, so let's see if they crew this. The Mind Link Mech. They do not. Okay. Hmm. Where do we sit? Let's drop you. They can see our hand here, so there are no surprises, unfortunately. Deep Cavern Bat. Okay, we can go ahead and Tide Bind this, but it's still not great. Um, Yeah, let's do this. This kind of sucks, though, because it pretty much ensures that Emperor is going to die. Yeah. But they also lose Flying this way. I guess that's a little bit of a, of a bonus, but yeah, that's Mind Link Mech's going to kill our Emperor. I just don't really know what else we're supposed to do right now. Okay. Hmm. What was the... Can we let that resolve? They get rid of a Tide Binder, but then I think they would get rid of the Twins so that we can't even blink the Mind Link Mech anyway. So I think our Wandering Emperor was just good as dead. I don't think there's really a whole lot of ways we could save her. So yeah, it's a 4-3 bat with Life Link. I don't like the Life Link. I know that Emperor dies, but the Life Link is really what's going to get on my nerves here. Because that could prove to matter. Man, sorry, I'm sorry, Emperor. Oh. I'm sorry, Emperor. Don't be mad at me. We get another one. Hey, we get another one. So that's nice. But dang, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I guess I might as well swing here. If they go for Gix, I mean, we have the second Emperor now. <laughs> now that we, we can make this play now that we drew into another Emperor. Hmm. Bitter oh, okay, so why are they wait? Why are they going for this instead of the Tide Binder? I guess it doesn't really matter that much. I guess yeah. I guess they're not really that worried about the Cavern Bat losing its abilities. Okay. So they know that we've got the Twining Twins, and they know that we have the Tide Binder, but they don't know that we have Wandering Emperor. Okay. Hmm. Where's Aaron and Jada? Aaron Jada has not made an appearance so far in this video, which I'm a little disappointed in. So we are pretty much almost flash flying tribal. We do have the siren pirate, which is not flat or not flash. It is flying though. All right, this speaking of flying, this mind link mech has flying, and this thing still has me. I, I've been like squinting at this mind link mech the entire match. All right. So they're gonna swing in with Gix here. I mean, we could actually. We, the problem with Gix is that we can only counter one of the triggered abilities, so I don't think we can even do that. So let's just go for wandering emperor. They could easily have a counter here. So this is, I mean, I'm not sitting too pretty here. I don't, I don't see what else we can do. All right, we get, okay, that, I was, I was pretty much expecting a counter yeah, here, but and we're going to go ahead and go, do this. And I will wow, and that just, wow, no interaction whatsoever. That feels pretty you gosh darn good, because honestly, I was not liking my odds there. Down to 16, and that does not feel that bad without the two card draw, or three, rather, from Gix. It would have been three, 
Without the card draw, I don't think that was that bad of a move. The Mind Link mech is still just sitting there, menacingly. Blood Letter of Alcazar. Why are they... Okay. I don't know if they were afraid of a, of a counter or something. Okay. Hmm. Let's see... If I go for the Siren and put a map token on the Mastermind, if we can get Mastermind up to four, we can swing in. I want to be aggressive here. I mean, we kind of already, like, established that we want to be aggressive here. And plus, this way, we can still hold up Twins. We can still go for Tidebinder. I still just like having the Blink ability. Fairy Mastermind. I give... Do we want to keep this thing? I think... I guess we'll take it away, I guess. I guess we could probably use it, but I don't know. It's close. Alright, so Emperor, we're going to put a plus one, plus one counter on, um, I guess either one of them, just because we do need to get into four power. Just so they can't block us off, and now, yeah, I think I think this will be okay. I'm going to swing in. To teach you. Just with you, can't the tie binder doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Plus, we don't want to give the, the bat flying and lifelink, because again, we are going for the kill here. Down to five they go. We still have a Tidebinder and a Twins, so I think I'm sitting okay. And they go for the Blood Letter of Aquazots. I think we're okay here. Mind Leak Mega. I mean, what a card. I mean, I forgot that it was even around. I did make a few decks with this, but man, maybe I need to revisit the Mind Leak Mech. Hmm. Like, what? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Just standing there. Menacingly. Shout out to Spongebob. We're going to go on a little bit of a Spongebob tangent, but man, Spongebob... I, I, I think I've seen every single Spongebob episode from 1999 to like 2011. And probably just every single one. The show is literally like my childhood. It's more of a Nickelodeon kid than the um, um, Cartoon Network kid, but I, you know, I did dabble in both. Shout out to Courage the, the Cowardly Dog. Okay, so... Oh, good lord, Witch Queen, you're killing me. But you are a witch, so I would not expect anything less. So they're just going to swing with the Blood Letter of Alkazats. Okay, I mean, I don't really want to lose my my Emperor here, so... Do I want to go for Twins? I guess not. I guess not. We've let two Emperors die this match, kind of like awkwardly, and it feels really, really terrible. I don't love that. But I'm just trying to think of what I want to do here. I guess we go for my turn and just go for the Twins. We already established that we want to be aggressive, but I can just use the Twins on their end, so... Oh, well, Fading Hope does help a little bit out if we do want to be extra aggressive. Mm. I mean, we do have Lethal. We do have Lethal. I'm assuming they have some sort of, you know, interaction here. But I guess we'll, we might as well swing in for Lethal. If they go for the Mind Link Mech, we can just kind of Fading Hope it. This whole match has just been really awkward. So another Mal... Okay, Malcolm comes out to play. Okay. Let's let's go let's go for the fading hope here. If they want to tap out, this whole match has been so awkward. For some reason, this this whole match just feels really awkward. I guess we'll fading hope the Malcolm. They can flash it back. Oh, so they're gonna crew with the bat. Okay. So now we still have a twins that we can kind of blink out. But now we can go for Tidebinder too. Now, now, now we're putting a real big pickle here. I think let's do it. Let's go in for Tidebinder. This is an artifact, so we will be able to pretty much put it under wraps. Tidebinder on the Mind Link Mech. Sure. Boom. So now, now we don't have to worry about Mind Link Mech in the air. I know that they can still flash this in, so I think we're we're not we're not in lethal territory yet, and they still might have like a kill spell or something. Fairy Mastermind. Okay, we all, all right, another fairy mastermind. This isn't great though. We don't, we're still one light from being able to go for twins. So they're on chump block. Wow, okay, a chump block's actually not that bad. I don't know where we sit. I think this is pretty good unless they have another kill spell. If they have a way to kill my tide binders, then we're screwed. But if not, I mean, we got we got their core things shut down. The blood letter of Alkazats is not even double. The damage is pretty impressive, and this card is pretty crazy, but I don't think they, they can't do 16 damage, so I'm not too worried about that. We finally put the Tide under wraps on the Mind Leak mech, so 
Okay. This feels like a very witchy matchup, just considering how awkward it was. I know I've said that like a million times, so I'm sorry for being a little bit repetitive, but dang, this, this whole match I just was just played out very, very weird. It's not over yet, I don't want to say, I don't, don't want to count my chickens before it hatches. Alright, so we get another, okay, we get a Wandering Emperor. We can't go for Twins and Emperor, or even use the, the Exile ability, so... What's our play here? They got two Flyers. We could go for Anchorage, but that's not lethal either. So, oh my gosh, the awkwardness continues. Like, I just don't know what, what we're doing here. I think our best bet maybe is a swing with everything. And then Emperor can maybe sneak in a plus one, plus one. But they might also have a counter spell. I don't know. This whole match has just been so agonizing. Oh my goodness. I'm rubbing my face out of nervousness. Don't do that a whole lot. I just don't know how else to... I, I mean, this is going to be one of those games where like, I look back and I'm like, did I make like three misplays? Like, How did we come to get so awkward here? Alright, so let's see what we're going to block off. Saino! How are we doing here? How are we doing here? This looks pretty good. We got two tie binders. The tie binder, man, I, when I first saw the card, I thought it was like a pretty solid card. The more that I play with it, the more I realize that this thing is just crazy. There's so many different things that it hits. It hits like... I don't think there's like really any deck that's really safe from it, but let's go and put away the siren just because I want to snag another land here, and we are getting a little bit nervous just because we have to get we have to get into at least three land and no white for the twining twins either. So let's see if we can kind of make do with this. So make this appear on the hopeful initiate. Hopefully they don't have another one drop, and they do. Oh, they save the recruitment officer. Thank goodness we dropped the deserted beach. That was getting a little bit nerve wracking. But now we got the tide binder. I don't know if. They have anything that we're going to be able to use. Oh, okay. A Adeline is actually perfect. Um, yeah, this is actually okay. I don't think I'm going to fly. Okay, this is actually kind of awkward, but we're going to still do it. All right, splash in our Tide Binder. Use that on Adeline. So now it's just a 0-4 vanilla. We can't really block effectively because then we just get killed. So we're not going to do that, but okay. Yeah, no point in attacking. I'm just going to bounce off it, but yeah. Okay, so we have a culprit number one. Get lost. Um, uh, I mean, we could Twining Twins this. Nah, I think we'll just accept that. It's okay, we still have another Tide Binder, so I guess we'll just do the same exact thing to this Adeline. Yeah, I guess. Let's, let's go for Tide Binder number two. Counter this. Make Adeline a 0-4. And just dip. That's fine. Kind of awkward. It's usually, um... It's usually a little bit different here, but I'm okay with this. The island's just 0-4. They can't really do a whole much. And now we've got two map tokens. Let's go ahead and use them. Yep. Um, now our this one's a little bit more awkward. I do want to get into a 4-3 so that I can block off Adeline. But... Um, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'm planning on flashing in either Malcolm or go for Make Disappear anyway. So, ad adversary. Okay. We also have the Twining Twins, and the Twining Twins, you can blink your opponent's creatures, too. So I'm thinking, okay, this is fine. If they want to swing in, we're going to probably blink the adversary. So Kellen Dar Daring Traveler, this card is really, really good. I, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of this thing. I need to make up another brew with the, with the Daring Traveler. So just a Plains, they're not going to get any value out of that, which is really, really nice, because we are pretty behind here. So what I'm going to do, I think let's go for the Twining Twins. Let's blink the adversary. Even when it comes back, they're still not going to be able to juice up the board. So let's go ahead and I think we're just going to kill the Kellen. Yeah, that feels pretty gosh darn good. There we go. A little bit of momentum, which we really needed. And then next turn, we can still go for a map token and a two drop of some sort. So yeah, they get it back, but again, they can't pay the cost this time. And now I think that was a pretty good momentum swing. So I think let's just go ahead and use the map token. I could really use another land right now. Fingers crossed. There we go. Deserted beach. We <laughs> never a worry. Alright, kind of awkward here. We don't have a 3-drop, so we can only drop... Yeah, we only have a Malcolm or a Fairy Mastermind. They actually see it as well. Guess we'll just go ahead and chill. Another adversary. Okay, well, we do have another Twining Twins. I don't know if they uh, know that. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. We did the same exact thing on Adeline two times, and now we're going to do the same exact thing on the adversary two times, so... 20 twins on you. Let's do that. And now we can... I think we'll take the recruitment officer. I don't want to trade it. No way. No way. So now we get rid of you. And slowly but surely, we are kind of dismantling the... Ooh, and we get that. So now they are going to be able to pay the one time. That's okay. 
And now, what do we do? That that four power on the adversaries is really, really annoying. But I guess we can go for Twining Twins. Or we can probably just go for Mastermind and Malcolm. What's the better play here? The Twining Twins has to trade, which is kind of annoying. All right, let's go ahead and take a Chill Pill here. Vanguard. Still not the biggest... That's not, I'm not that threat here. Let's see. Let's see. If we if we just double block the Adeline, I mean, they can't kill us. So we take 10. I'm okay with going down to 1. It's a little risky here. We, we go down to 1, but at least the Adeline is gone. And hold on. Can we... Let's see here. We can still flash in Malcolm and Fairy Mastermind. The 20 Twins having Vigilance is really nice. So 33. Now 29 to 1. And let's see if we can get... We can get this. Two flash creatures and a make disappear if something super crazy comes out. And another Adeline. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can't make disappear this thing. So 6-5 and they're going to get another 1-1. One, one. Okay, we still, we're still not dead. We're still not dead. 3-2. All right. Got to do it. Flash in the Fairy Mastermind and Malcolm. So there's four attackers, but four blockers. So we're good there. Let's go ahead and block you. I want to keep the twins as long as possible. So, yeah. The two toughness is really what's going to save us, though. That is really, really what I'm liking here. And it does suck that we have to take casualties. But we, at least we keep the twining twins. Boom. Mono, Imano. And I guess we could go for Soaring City. I'm just going to actually play it so that I can go for Make Disappear in case they get something crazy. Probably not very likely considering they're playing Mono White. But we could Make Disappear if they drop something nuts. Oh, yeah, no attacks, baby. And there we go. I think we kind of officially took control of this board. Swing it. It's definitely not over. It's definitely not over, though. Um, because they only need one creature. So, Daring Traveler. Uh, can't even double make disappear this thing. So, okay. Oh, more land. I don't love drawing the land. So, we're just going to go ahead and just keep swinging in here. But I am nervous here because... Hold on, they have, they have lethal, they have lethal, and I don't think they know it. They could just double, <gasps> our opponent just missed lethal, and I don't even blame them for not doing it. Wow, okay, now we got the siren, we're gonna use this map token here. Um, yeah, they, they, oh my gosh, and we get an emperor, it's now done, but wow. Our opponent just missed lethal, and we are hanging by the skin of our teeth. Wow. Oh, if they were just double swung, I have two counter spells and a land. I mean, it seems scary. I don't blame them for not attacking, but wow, yeah, they could have just swung in they, that little one-one from Adeline there. They give us a good game, and I think we're gonna sneak sneak away with this one. We do. Wow, that was crazy. Glauber Tashira is that kind of like um? I mean, I think that's a UFC fighter, right? Glover Tashira is that a play on words? I don't know, but hopefully you are less tough than him because I could use a win right now. All right, pretty good here. We got the, the Werewolf Fox Bodyguard does play a little bit awkwardly just because it does have the, the double white here, but let's go ahead and use the Fading Hope and see. I um, mean, that's actually a mistake. Yeah, speaking of double white, I actually only have one white source here, so maybe we should have scribed that away for potentially another white source. And eh, we'll see if that's an oopsies or not. Blood Tide Harvester number two, or the same one, but, you know. Let's go and make that disappear permanently. I don't really want to see you ever again because, you know... Vampires, you know, I've seen it feels like Blood Tithe Harvester has been standard legal for three years, and that's because it probably has been about three years. But man, good lord, they, they, what's another card that's been like standard legal forever? Let's go and flash in our fairy mastermind. This card has not been standard legal for that long. Um, Hopeful Initiate is another one, the, the white one, the white one drop. That card, I feel like I've stared at that thing for since I was in high school, which was about 10 years ago, so. All right, Spyglass Siren, and we still have a Tide Binder and a Twining Twins, but I think I'm okay with just foregoing the Tide Binder in order to kind of see what we got going on here. Because we can also just go for Twining Twins, and then we get another map token if they do want to use Spot Remove on the Siren. Yeah, we're kind of digging for another white source here for the Werewolf Fox Bodyguard. Definitely was a, uh, yeah, definitely regretting that a little bit of an oopsie there. Cruelty of Gix, okay, that's fine. Let's see. Oh my! So they're not gonna play anything. Okay, so we do get our white source, but it always is a little bit weird when our opponents when they're playing like something like Rakdos or Mono Red, and they don't play anything for three. They've got to they got to flash something. They got to do something here. So go for the throat. Here we go. And yeah, let's go for the Twining Twins. This way we can still hold up Tide Binder, and that's pretty good with me. Yep, that's fine with me. And we're gonna get another map token on entry. So 
I think we're sitting pretty right now. So let's see, uh, Glober Tashira. And, ooh, Geological Appraiser. Okay, so that, that is, that's great. Look at that Tide Binder. Again, the Tide Binder is so freaking good. We just counter it and we just say no. We get our map token, life's good. Okay. So the Appraiser actually, yeah, just got banned in Explorer, but I see why. I think it was actually a menace. That thing was crazy. Even if we do get a plus one counter on the Tide Binder, uh, we still don't have enough power to swing in with the Tide Binder without trading. So let's go ahead and just put it up into the air. And in the air, don't care, baby. I'm going to swing it. I guess if we do trade, we we'll just trade, but at least we get the extra damage up in the air. And I'm going to go for the 20 twins. Um, Yeah, we get around. Brother the only thing that we really could have is Terror Tide. Feeling like board wipes in the Brotherhood. And we get around Brotherhood this way. So the ward does suck. Yeah, it definitely sucks. Maybe I should have waited for the Fading Hope, but ah, it's okay. It's okay. We'll be okay. Ooh, and a cut down. So now we're sweating a little bit. Our where I wasn't expecting to lose both of our creatures, so that is pretty brutal. Still have a fading hope, but we have not faded our own hope. Ooh, Shelly. Okay, well let's just go straight in for the Wear Fox bodyguard. That is not even a question. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Yeah, it's fine. All right, hopefully they don't have any more, but we do have the fading hope just in case. And now we've got to make this appear. So 14 to 19, getting a little sweaty here though. If we got your Shelly. With our bodyguard, we're just we're just bodyguarding it. We're just guarding the Shelly, making sure no one you know gets hurt from it. Not even me. That's all we're doing. All right, so if they're not going to play anything, I mean, I guess we might as well just swing in with a little bodyguard. Again, we're just guarding the Shelly, just guarding it, and we could also fading hope our own creature. Just kind of cute. Trumpeting Carnosaur. Okay, I mean, I guess. I can't Fading Hope this thing, because this is an ability, so, or I can't make this appear, so I have to Fading Hope this thing. Ooh, a Larcenist, we'll take the Larcenist, and then we'll go ahead and just flash this back. The reason I'm doing this now, I understand it's a little riskier, but I don't want them gaining life. Like, we're racing here. I don't want them gaining life. Cruelty of Gex, that is going to be an easy make this appear, and we're looking pretty good here. Alright. Yeah, I had to do that on ours, on, um... Typically, you kind of wait there, but I don't want them gaining two life from the draw, so I had to do that right now. Um, Graveyard Trespasser, okay. We can't make that disappear, but we can hit it with the Larcenus and discard whatever we draw next. Starting to get a little nervous. 11 life. Ooh, and a Harvester. Well, we can we can make that disappear. Ooh, okay. Ooh, an Emperor. Okay, so now that's, I mean, that's kind of a catch-22. I guess we'll swing in here. If they do block, we... Okay, this is great. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. We got the Emperor, and now we can just put a plus one, plus one counter on the Bodyguard. That worked out to our favor really well. I don't think they were expecting that. I don't think they were expecting an Emperor. That, well, obviously they weren't expecting it, but... Preacher of Schism. Okay. As long as they don't have any removal, and now we've got another Make Disappear, I think we're looking kind of okay. And because we get first strike on the Emperor, I think it just kind of makes sense to attack here. But I might just go for Larcenist. And they don't, we don't... Wow, I think that was pretty close, but we got the dub. G-Max, how we doing here, buddy? Let's go ahead and keep this. This looks pretty good to me. Alright, yeah, we're looking good. So, blue-white, don't really love the... Well, should we go for the Siren? Yeah, sure. The Deserted Beach on turn two is obviously very awkward. So, let's get a map token and see if we can... That's my best impression of a telescope with one arm, just because I have to keep this on the mouse, but... Alright, get another one of that, and we're still going to need another one for the Wandering Emperor, but we might as well swing in. Um, back to the telescope, we're still going to use the map token, see if we can uh, explore for a land. But not right now, yeah, I think let's, well, let's go ahead and hold up the make disappear. In due time, we shall go on exp an exploration. See, now that feels pretty bad. They don't play anything, so now I feel kind of stupid. But now we can go for a map token. Feels a little bit less awkward. Hopefully, let's just get a land. White source 2. And oh, there. Oh my gosh. You ask and you shall receive, baby. We get a white source. So now that we can go for Wandering Emperor next turn if the, you know, if the, if the tide calls for it. Stern Lesson. Just draw two cards, discard a card, create a Power Stone token. I'm going to let this go. Just because, I, I mean, we have two Make Disappears, I I don't want them to resolve anything. If they're playing, like, Artifacts or something like that, they can't, they have to play Artifacts at Sorcery Speed, so I would rather use this... Ooh, I'm not going to use Make Disappear on that. Let's see if they got any bigger Artifacts. Was it a... Yeah, I don't want to... I didn't want to tap out for that. Didn't feel very tap-outable, but now I'm kind of regretting it. Alright, well, let's just do what we can. Let's go and swing in here. 
I don't know, are we playing against artifacts like more controlly? It's gotta be more controlly. But now that they play the gnome, I am a little bit confused. So if they're playing like a gnome, are they, is this like, um, I don't know what we're playing against. I guess just like gnome control. I guess that's kind of a thing. So a couple of call, this guy, the thing's really cool. I, I'm a big fan of the first among equals. Um, I mean, we could make, well, we actually can't make disappear because they have the power stone token. They can use the power stone token for the make disappear, I believe, right? They just can't cast non-artifact spells. Let me go and read this really quick. Yeah, as long as something didn't enter the battlefield. I guess we'll go for Emperor. I mean, they don't they can't make disappear this thing, so they can't use the Power Stone token for make disappear. I guess we'll just put a plus one plus one on the siren. I have got I guess. to teach you. Yeah, plus one plus one. I'm just gonna juice this thing up. That's that's fine with me. Sure. Um, yeah, that, that's fine. I don't really want to go for the, I mean, I guess we could go for Larcenus, but I would rather keep up the counter spells, to be honest with you, and then just beef up the Siren to the high heavens and then just protect it. That seems a little bit better to me. I guess we are taking a weird route here, but I kind of like it. No swings. Okay. Do I want to flash in the tide bind? No, ah, uh, well, I mean, flashing in the tide binder seems not great, especially if they are running a more control. So let's go for Fading Hope. Let's do this. Put you back, and then we do go to Scry. Just kind of sets them back and stuff. I, I mean, if they're running a Kyle Bacal and Gnomes, I don't think they're running board wipes. So maybe we should be a little bit more apt to play down creatures and go more wide. By going tall is fun, and we get another Tidebinder. Tidebinder has been the MVP of the deck so far. I guess we'll put it away, just because I don't think they have a whole lot of activated triggered abilities. Master Ryan's actually pretty good. That's actually a pretty good draw here. So I guess we're, just, we're going tall. We're going very, very tall on the Siren because we do have double make disappears. So even if they go for get lost, well, hold on. We could fl we could flash in a Mastermind and then use it as a casualty. We could also just let it go. Which... Yeah, get lost. I think we're going to let this go. So we kind of abandon our plan altogether, but we still have a six loyalty Emperor. So let's go ahead and play down the fairy mastermind at sorcery speed. Because I do want to use the map token here, and we still have one make disappear that we can leave up. They can't do this again. We do have to make disappears. Okay, so now get lost. Let's say no. Okay, let's go ahead and make use of one of these make disappears. And now we're gonna get a map token off too. So boom, that feels pretty good. Play you, and I guess we might as well just play another map token. They're tapped out, and we don't have any other plays. So a larcenous. I guess you know they're playing a lot of removal. I don't know for I guess we'll pick it away. The reason the only reason we have a Larcenus already. I don't know what we're playing. Are they playing more board wipes? Like I just don't know what we're playing against, so I guess we'll get rid of you. But I kind of like that exchange. That felt pretty good. That felt less awkward than the last match, that's for sure. My goodness. Was that two matches ago? I don't even remember. I think that was, that was actually two matches ago. Okay, so there we go. Well, we're looking pretty good here. No anchorage or anything like that. I kind of would like the 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 creature land, but I guess we might as well swing in. I am a little bit nervous about an emperor, but one, two, three, four. Wow, no emperor. Okay. So I, I was gonna debate going for tide binder. Well, we have tide. We always have tide binder. We must protect. Well, there's really no debating. I don't know why I was debating it. They have emperor. We're definitely going for tide binder there. It just I don't want to see a board wipe. Board wipes really hurt right now. So certain lesson. I'm gonna let that go. That's fine. I don't like these Power Stone tokens, though. The Power Stone tokens always play a little bit awkwardly. What do they get rid of here? Oh, a City Escape Leveler. We do get the Mastermind draw, which is very, very nice. Yeah, okay. So City Escape Le The thing you have to note about the Leveler is it is when it's casted. It's not when it's entering the battlefield. It's just whenever it's casted. So that's actually a pretty big difference. There's not a whole lot of things like that. Whenever it's, like, casted, it gets its ability. Still waiting for the farewell or sunfall. Oh, Urza. Wow, Urza. Hmm. Okay. I don't. We can use the casualty, but I don't think. I think we can kind of deal with Urza. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we can go for. We just go for Larceness, honestly. I'm, the more that. More creatures they play, the more I'm like. Eh, I don't think you really got it. I don't think you really got that. I'm gonna go for Fairy Mastermind because I do want to take another draw. 
Yeah, boom. Get a double draw here. The Chrome and the Aganjo is fine. So our, our hand is very, very healthy right now. Let's drop you. I haven't even done the math. I might want to drop the Sea Chrome Coast just in case we aren't as mana efficient. It would have been better to drop the Tap Land now, but eh, whatever. Let's go for the Kaiseo Larsenus just to see what they got. See, I mean, they do have cheapened stuff now with Urza. And the Power Stone token, so I'm not exactly sure where we sit. I'm definitely just going to go for Urza. I'm not going to play any crazy games here. G-Max. They don't want to cast the Akalpakal. They want to go for Urza, which is kind of understandable. Akalpakal is not an artifact creature itself. Make this appear. I mean, we could pay this. I mean, sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll pay it, sure. <laughs> No, and then we'll go ahead and get rid of Urza. Feels pretty good. And again, with this Emperor, we've been using a lot of the pluses on the Emperor here. I guess, I guess we will do this. I don't really love giving them an extra card, but I mean, we could just go in the air. But going wide feels kind of okay here. We're not in. We're, we're still a ways away from going for lethal. So going for the Mastermind at this point, if we have to protect it, we have to blink it anyway. So I'm, I'm okay. Just take your card. We still have plenty of interaction to deal with you. It feels a little it feels a little yucky though to give them a card and a little bit of life, but we'll see. City scrape leveler. Sure. Yeah, again though, with the city scrape scape leveler, is it's whenever it's casted, not whenever it enters the battlefield. So it does work a little bit awkwardly in that regard. But we can still counter it. It'll just keep its like um unstable. Oh, this is the thing that just blows up the battlefield. But we have the tide binder. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's go over the Tide Binder here. If we get this to resolve again, if they have a counter spell, we're screwed. Boom, there we go. And we counter the unsta- Oh, that feels good. The Tide Binder, man. I mean, again, this card is just there's really no deck that is like just completely omit from like Tide Binder. When I first saw Tide Binder, I'm like, yeah, that was a pretty good card. But now that the more I play it, I mean this card is just insane. And if are they tapped out? They get to like, draw a card, okay, whatever. They just have one single treasure, so they're not, I guess, they're not technically all, all the way tapped out. But we're just going to go ahead and just get rid of the call for call here and put one last plus one, plus one counter. I have never had a game where Emperor, I just like plus one it to death, but this is one of those awkward games. Seven loyalty counters on an Emperor, you don't see that every day, and you don't see that every single day, baby.